Um, all right, so ABCT folks. If you uh, ABCT, James Ballard. I was in uh, First Armor Division in uh, Fort Bliss. Uh, okay. It's 100% mobile, almost the wrecking that everybody else does just, just doesn't happen at all. Mm -hmm. has one infantry battalion, which is all up-armored and mobile. It has two traditional armor units, which, are heavy, which you would call heavy armor units, which is primarily tanks. It has, uh, and Bradley's, it has a cavalry uh, entity, which is primarily used for recon. And then there's a BEB, um, engineering assets, and then of course, support from a BSB. Okay, awesome. So you guys are in tanks 24-7. 24-7. Death before dismount. So you guys do not get out of your tanks, basically. So you guys are fully up armored, um, light, they walk around, and strikers, like I said, a mix between the two almost. Um, so I'm going to read. I normally will not read anything, but this I want you guys to to get what um, FM 3-69, or 96, I'm sorry, says about BCTs. So if you've never been in a brigade combat team, you'll have the doctrine definition of what it is. All right, so uh, brigade combat teams organized to conduct decisive action, which is continuous, simultaneous combinations of offense, defense, and stability or defense support of civil authorities tasks. The BCT is the Army's primary combined arms close combat force. BCTs often operate as part of a division or joint task force. The Division or Joint Task Force acts as a tactical headquarters that can control up to six BCTs in high or mid-intensity combat operations. The tactical headquarters assigns the BCT its mission, area of operations, and supporting elements. The headquarters coordinates the BCT's actions with the other BCTs in the formation. The BCT might be required to detach subordinate elements to other brigades attached or assigned to the division or task force. Usually, this tactical headquarters assigns augmentation elements to the BCT. Field ar artillery, maneuver enhancement, sustainment, and combat aviation brigades can all support BCT operations. Um, so if you've been in a uh, combat aviation brigade in a, um, an echelon above brigade, so a CSSB or an ESC for logistics, then you guys have all supported a brigade combat team's operation at one point. Um, does anybody have any questions about what a brigade combat team is? Or any questions about, about it at all? All right, good. So most of you guys have heard of it. Um, this is going to be the, in particular, the um, armored brigade combat team is what you guys are gonna focus on for the entirety of this course. Um, for MDMP, you guys are going to focus on on it for for um, Common Core, and then moving on, it's going to be the same unit. Move through that, and you'll be able to do logistics and sustainment operations for them when you do your Lex One, Lex Two, and then finally your ICOS. The idea is that if you can come up with the logistical support for an armored brigade combat team, then you can do it for everyone else. Um, there are different challenges, obviously, with each, but as far as fuel consumption, uh, um, just distance travel, the ABCT far outweighs the striker and infantry uh, brigade combat teams. So moving on. So this is going to be y'all's PE. So typically we do this in class, um, and it's a two-hour breakout section, session, and you guys get in your groups and you, you go over these units. Um, Obviously, we're not in class, so we're going to give you guys two and a half hours uh, to break out into your, your groups and do this. Um, you're going to draw your particular BCT task organization down to the platoon level. That includes all battalions under the BCT, so it's a lot. Usually, people use it on or do it on a whiteboard. Um, if you guys want to do it digitally, you're more than welcome to. That might take more time. Um, or if you want to have, you know, break it out and a couple people work on different battalions, you draw it out and then you show battalion by battalion, you're more than welcome to do that as well just because it'll be a little bit faster for you guys. Um, finally, or, or next you're going to describe the roles, functions, capabilities, and limitations of the BCT or of each BCT or the BCT you're assigned, sorry. 
Um, you're going to identify your key equipment and combat power. So I don't need to know how many M4s you have, but anything, you know, any major combat power capabilities um, and key equipment that's unique to your BCT, I do want to hear about. Um, and then just overall strengths and weaknesses that you think of or you identify while doing your research um, or anything that is unique that, that you think is, is worth mentioning. You guys will be using FMS Web. Um, and yes, I would recommend the, the ABCT folks, 3-1, you're going to see them probably multiple times throughout this entire uh, career course. So those folks, um, I gave you guys an extra person. Um, everybody, or once they, they brief theirs back, I, I highly, highly recommend to, to take note of what they're saying, just because that's going to help you move on throughout the course as well. Um, is there any questions on this? Nope, we're good. You have your groups. You know your your uh, who you're going to be looking at, and you know what to do. So again, this is broken down into the student folder under practical exercises. Um, we're going to close out this session, and then it's nine forty. So we'll say at we'll do noon. If you guys come back at noon, and and be prepared to brief all of this. Is that good for everybody? Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Yeah. Did you mention something? Is there like a timeline or like, um, I don't know, time limit or something? Uh, so you guys will just have until noon to complete it. No, like for the brief? Oh, no. Is You just get out as, as much as you, yep. You just brief this and then we'll, we'll move on to the next group. There's no time limit for it because basically we just want everybody to understand what BC what each BCT is and what it what capabilities it has. Okay. Thanks. Yep. I will look I'll, I I'll, I'll, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Mr. Hackett. Oh thanks. I I'll keep this session open so we can just link it when you're fin when you're ready, just uh join back in. Okay. Um, I won't create I won't create a new meeting. Okay, um, and I'm sorry, I said noon, I meant 12.30. Yeah. My bad. So 12.30, be back here, um, and then be ready to, to, to brief and to show us your task org. That's the only thing that um, we need to be able to visually see is your, your task organization, and then everything else you can talk through. All right. Well, I don't want to hold you guys up anymore. I will see you all back here at 1230 um, and have fun. Mm -hmm.